So this is a little cafe in my suburb that I started frequenting when I want to sit down and do some work in a different environment. They make awesome coffee. Needed a little break from the apartment, wanted to do a daily dispatch to post my what I learned video that I made yesterday and I need a few things from the shop. So combined all of that together um, to just create a little break and get something done. It was really lovely. This is so bizarre. I'm going through stuff on my in tray. And the other day I bought two birthday cards. I know who this one is for, but for the life of me, I can't remember who this one is for. How does that happen? Help me clean up, Belle. Help me clean <laughs> up. That's the girl. That's it. Lots of cleaning going on. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to Bunnings today. I took back all those shelves that I bought for the cupboard units for the hallway cupboard and the laundry cupboard. Um, they refunded everything. God love them. They were fantastic. And I got this one piece of melamine and they cut it for me into the exact lengths that I need for shelves in my cupboard. And this fantastic young gentleman helped me pick out the brackets and the screws that I needed. So Jess and I are going to have a go at putting these up ourselves. Not sure if I'm going to need the electric drill, but I think I will start charging it up just in case. Is that charging? Doesn't look like it's charging. Is it charging? Oh, I might need to turn it around. Let me take a look. Oh, it might help if I plugged it in instead of the food processor. Blonde moment is what we'll put that down to. Here we go. Yes, now it's charging. Oh. Well, I wasn't very happy with the handyman the other day and he was very expensive and I will struggle to find another one. Um, it's hard enough to find him. So Jess and I are going to be very careful with this job. We're going to get online and look for instructions. I had the guy at Bunnings, the handyman store, the handy, what do you call it? Hardware store, talk me through how to do the job. Um, there's no electrical wires behind there. I know it's just plasterboard. I've got the right equipment. So we'll start with a low risk area. We'll start with the shelves in the hallway cupboard and see how we go mastering the art of hanging shelves in plasterboard. I'm gonna give that a go tomorrow. It's so nice to see. You can see my apartment. So nice to see it coming together bit by bit day by day. I just do a little bit every day at the moment. So sitting here in the car outside raise the bar calisthenics while Jess does another class. That's four days in a row. She's so enjoying it and I have the flexibility to come along. Um, but I'm sitting here and uh, you know my phone kind of buzzes a couple of times and I realize that it's Twitter and when I check I can see that Don Taylor is at the Learning Live conference in the UK in London presenting about the new capability map that I project managed and he's mentioned me in one of his slides very kindly uh, and a, a couple of people have been tweeting about it and I'm just thinking it's such an odd way the world works now in some ways it's wonderful um, that this is going on at the same time as I'm kind of just sitting here in Australia in the car uh, and yet there's a sense of my presence based on some of the work I've done happening real time live over in London. So I haven't done much with work today, um, mostly just catching up on a bit of social media, doing a little bit on LinkedIn, um, tiny little bit on the podcast. Uh, I've just gone with the flow a bit more in the house today and was sorting out some things with Jess, who is actually going back into a schoolyard in a little under four weeks or around four weeks. So just putting a bit more energy into that and taking Alan's counsel from yesterday to just um, be a little patient and allow myself some time to settle in. It was good advice. I spoke with someone else today uh, in my network, um, someone who also runs her own business. And, you know, she's been doing this for 16 years and she had some similar advice to me um, just about keeping on going uh, and the fact that um, from time to time, no longer how long you've been in the game, you will have some doubts um, and not everything will be easy but it is worth it. I really appreciate some of the good people I've surrounded myself with, some of the people I can trust, some of the people who are happy to share their experience with me and uh, support me. So for those of you, you know who you are. Uh, I think by and large, thank you very much. Um, 
so I think that's it for the night from me. I'm going to get an early night um, and look forward to another full and rewarding day tomorrow.